All right, we're out here. We're doing our annual shoot the, shoot the turkey gun before before the season starts. Um, me and Brian are out. Uh, Brian took a shot just before, made sure his gun was on, hit him right in the face. And uh, I'm out here. I got some new True Glow sights on my gun, so I got to make sure it's shooting straight. Uh, we're off to Alabama on Monday. Today's Saturday, and then I'm meeting up with Brian in Tennessee on April 1st uh, to meet up with Charlie and them. So uh, we're gonna take a couple shots here with the. Winchester, we got the Jebs chokes in, and uh, we're gonna see how, how we make out. <laughs> I, th I think we're on now. <laughs> That's perfect. Had to do a couple minor adjustments, but uh, that Winchester Jebs choke, man. That's like 23 yards right there. Look how tight that is, S size of my fist. That's perfect, dead center. Just what we want. We're gonna back it up now. This is our second annual trip down to Alabama, and Will has made friends with some of the locals since his daughter has been attending Auburn University. You wouldn't think we would have a problem running into turkeys with nearly 600 acres of private land to hunt, but the only gobbler we were able to run into stayed over on the neighboring property for the five days we were there. On our last day, it seemed like we were finally going to get him to commit, but had a hunter come in and intentionally spook the bird. We ran into over 10 different birds on the river, but primarily being field turkeys, our only option was to try to show them a strutter decoy and hope that they would advance towards us. It seemed that every group had a number of hens and didn't pay any mind to our tactics. We packed up and headed back to try to roost some birds, where we were able to locate four strutters and watch them fly up. We then put together a game plan and set up right in their face the next morning.
right here stood there for a couple minutes finally realized that that was a jake and realized he could whoop his butt so he came in did that and uh finally got a turkey down down south down here so pretty cool birds are still in the field so we're still hanging out we tried calling them over they don't they don't really feel like working they got all those hens with them so we're hanging out gonna try to let them work off and then we'll get the bird we ended up going to get the truck because the birds were still hanging out in the field. We kind of tucked over the hill here, got the truck and drove the truck into the field because we, we didn't, we didn't want to blow them out. So that's the first time we're walking up this Oh man, look at his, <laughs> look at his beak. That's what happens when you shoot that long beard XR, that Jeb's choke combo. Oh man. He's two year old. year old turkey. At first it seemed like our bad luck from Alabama had followed me to Tennessee, but after putting these birds to bed the night before, my confidence in having one of the four strutters come into our setup was pretty high. I want to thank Charlie and John for having us down this year and you'll have to tune in next week to see how the rest of our Tennessee trip unfolds. go that smoothly but that's the plan you know? it looked like heaven was go. opening up for the bird <laughs> so bright <laughs> it's all about our cool hunting vehicle oh what yeah so um we just got it to Auburn, Alabama this evening. We just unloaded all our gear. We packed up our K2 cooler with ice bags and water for tomorrow's hunt. And uh, we got the great hunting vehicle, a Ford Fusion. So.